The Minister of Solid Minerals, Dili Alake, says Nigeria has been able to train over 2,000 mines marshal, with 60 of them in each state of the Federation, to combat illegal mining activities in the country. The minister made the statement at a two-day roundtable summit on sustainable development in mining industry in Nigeria. Senior reporter Dimola Lawrence reports. The National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies has partnered with Broad Crosstut to address issues affecting the mining sector in Nigeria in a two-day summit. The summit brings stakeholders together to brainstorm on possible solutions to the issues facing the mining sector. For NIPPS, the roundtable will open up initiatives that can help the mining and steel sector to contribute significantly to the GDP of the country. I believe the mining sector and the steel sector can contribute $300 billion. For the keynote speaker, government must look into the implementation of the law that guides the mining sector. It will be to identify the gray areas in the Bureau of the Mining Act 2007 with a view of amending what needs to be amended and making provisions for whatever aspect that have not been covered adequately by the implementation of the law in the last 17 years. Former Minister of Information Lai Mohamed says the brainstorming session is aimed at bringing key stakeholders in the mining sector to discuss the current mining landscape in Nigeria. Through this brainstorming session of today, we hope to bring key stakeholders in mining from the private sector, government and the civil society to discuss the current mining landscape in Nigeria. Minister of Solid Minerals Development says his aim is to ensure that Nigeria becomes a mining destination for the first time in its history by eliminating bottlenecks. To combat illegal mining activities in any part of Nigeria, as we speak, I have been able to draw up a 2,160 man strong mines marshal. 60 in each state. The governor of Nasarawa State in his speech says Nigeria is blessed with huge mineral resources that can add value to the nation economically. By the time they finish on this one show, you know, in Nasarawa, in Uambe, and the one coming up in that, Nigeria will end up with roughly about 50 billion barrels of oil reserve. For many here, mining is truly an Aculean task and one that needs as much as a stable policy environment as possible to avoid business interruptions. Demola Lawrence, TVC News, Abuja.